Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, hey, folks, I played a video series of videos I've been doing for the while now. We're over there to try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, after my last review, I definitely need to wash my mouth out with something. But we'll get into that. Yes, indeed, folks, I go over there, I try out stuff, whether it's food, drink, or sometimes a little bit of both. I'm going to try it, I'm going to yammer on about it whilst I'm doing so. I'm inside the truck today. Whilst I'm inside the truck today and I'm going to review some stuff, I'm going to be doing so whilst wearing a cool shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing, folks? Because I always like to highlight the cool shirt that I'm wearing. Boom! Battle Rito Shinden shirt! It's a character select screen from the PS1 game. You got, uh, the... Ellis, and Sophia, and E.G., and Duke. You got Fo, Kyan, Mondo, and Rungo. It's all the characters. Actually, it's not all the characters, because there's, uh, two hidden characters also, two boss characters. So. I love this game. Uh, I own... I, uh, not every iteration of it, because I know I don't own the PC version of it. I'd like to get a hold of it. But I own the PlayStation version, the Game Boy version, um, and the Sega Saturn version. So, I'm a fan. Anyway, though. What am I trying to feel all day? What am I trying to wash my mouth out? I just got through reviewing, boom, some R.W. Knudsen Family Organic Celery Apple Cucumber... Soup stock. They call it a juice. I call it a soup stock. I was not a very big fan of it. But here's the thing. You're going to get a little mini review because I went over there. I took all the stuff that I drank out of it. You know, well, I mean, and I filled it with apple juice from uh, Seven Select Farmers Grove Apple Juice. I'm hoping this makes it taste better. Let's find out together. I legit have not shaken up again. Legit have not tried this yet. But apple juice makes everything taste better, especially when there's supposed to be apple in it. Oh, it still smells bad. Still smells like a soup stock. I poured in so much apple juice. Not enough apple. I don't know if there's enough apple in the entire world. Make the bad taste go away. I'm not going to try it again for you, but needless to say, it apparently takes quite a bit to go over there and get this to taste even somewhat decent. Anyway, to wash the actual taste out of my mouth of that nonsense, what am I trying for y'all today? Well, it's a brand new spanking item, and I just finally found some. Boom! It's sun-kissed. Watermelon Lemonade. Ah! Yes, indeed, folks. It's new sun-kissed flavor. <clears throat> this one's actually been around for a little bit. I have not been able to find it until literally just today. And in fact, uh, Nathan's Fast Talk Food Reviews, who's another reviewer. I like watching his stuff. If my stuff is too long-winded for you, definitely go check out his stuff. His things are usually like three to five minutes. He actually got to review this I think like last month or something. And I saw it, uh, that he'd posted for it. I'd been looking around for it. I finally found it. Definitely go give his channel a look. Seems like an awesome dude. He likes Dark Hawk. Dark Hawk! Anyway, let's try some stuff. The only thing with Sunkist, I usually like their stuff, but sometimes, man, sometimes they're not so great. Which is not the case today. This is very delicious. I like the carbonation. I mean, it's a soda. That sounds stupid, but go with me on this. Different levels of carbonation work better with different types of drinks. 
With this one, they gave it a little, little bit extra oomph with the carbonation, and I like that because it sort of works with the, like the watermelon flavor is definitely that amped up watermelon flavor that they usually use for when they put it in sodas or make candy out of it. It never really tastes like proper watermelon because watermelon is a very mellow fruit. It doesn't have a lot of kick to it. It has pretty much no kick to it. But whenever candy manufacturers or whatever, they always have to boost up the, I don't usually like that flavor. But with this, they did that, but it's not done to a ridiculous extent. It's not like the crushed watermelon where you're basically drinking a, a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's a little bit more subdued. And then instead of getting that sort of what I personally feel is kind of an annoying tanginess to that artificial watermelon flavor, you instead get this like nice tangy citrusness from the kind of lemonade flavor. And the carbonation really plays off of that so you get that nice tanginess with the you know the hit of the carbonation and it manages to be sharp but also smooth which is weird but good i like this a lot i like the way it drinks and i like the way that it tastes it's smooth but like i said it's got a little extra oomph to it which I personally like. I'm, <coughs> excuse me. When it comes to uh, carbonated beverages, I like I like to know that it's carbonated. I like that carbonation, you know, to be there. This does that, but like I said, it's not abrasive or anything. And the way they blended the flavors is actually really good. The it's a watermelon first flavor for sure. The watermelon is definitely the bigger aspect here. The lemonade aspect is. It flows throughout the entire thing. It's not just like a tail end. But the watermelon is definitely leading the way. And the, the lemonade is kind of working to accentuate the watermelon flavor. And like I said, give it a nice like sort of, you know, lemonade-y kind of tang to it. It's not particularly... Um, Like, there's a little bit of a sourness to it. You know, what with the lemonade aspect and all. But it's very mild. Um, it really is more kind of a, a watermelon drink than anything. But I think combining with, with the citrus of the lemon and everything, I think that actually works out extremely well. Like, this is... Like I said, certain sun-kissed ones... I forget which one it was. It might have been, like, the blue raspberry one or whatever the hell it was. Maybe it was a blue lemonade. I don't know. One of them was not very good. Like, it, it just had, like, a weird sort of chemically taste to it, and I wasn't big into it. This, there's none of that. It's definitely artificial watermelon flavor, but that's perfectly fine, because, like I said, it's more subdued. It doesn't... They didn't overdo it with it. And I think the way that they blended the, uh, the lemon into it, it really works extremely well. Like, uh, the uh, one of the ones that I really like a lot which is another blend, is their Cherry Limeade. And that's another one where they did a really good job of blending the flavors together and making that work. This is really good. This is really good. Uh, two questions have to be asked, folks. Number one, would I get it again? Number two, would I recommend it? Yes and yes, absolutely. I think, for me, first of all, this is, I mean, the only other real watermelon soda that's kind of regularly available is the Mountain Dew Major Melon. So, which I like. I'm a big fan of that one, actually. <clears throat> the Crush, uh, mm, every now and again, but it's, like I said, it's just too much for me most of the time. But this, I think I actually like even more so. I like the very mellow, I like the very mellow flavor of it, but it still has that little tangy hit. This is, it's a nice kind of refreshing drink. This would be great to drink when the, when the weather warms up on a, a nice warm day. It'd be nice and refreshing. Combines two things that you typically enjoy during the hotter months. You know, some watermelon, some lemonade. I like this a lot. And as for recommending it, I don't, I mean, even if you're somebody who, like me, you're not huge into uh, artificial watermelon flavor, I'd still say give it a go. It's really tasty. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular the rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Two pounds right here. Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly 
lemonade tastic rest of your life. I'm not going to say watermelon lemonade tastic because my sample size is a bit too limited. I've had other watermelon lemonades, but you know, but lemonade, that's the real deal all the time. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. That's not always the easiest thing in the world to do, folks. Trust me. That's why I put try at the very beginning. That's very deliberate. Because at the end of the day, folks, you're going to have moments where you stumble. There's going to be moments where you're going to go over there, drop chow, or drop trowel, let your asshole out for the whole world to see. You know, I mean, maybe get an OnlyFans thing going if you know if you make a little money on the on, on the side. But that's for you to work out on your own time. But even when we get into those situations, it's important we go over there, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and maybe you're going to try yourself out some new sun-kissed watermelon lemonade, as I have done here today in this video. And maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to drink it, and it's going to be so wonderful, it's going to bring tears to your eyes, it's going to remind you of summers past, hanging out with your grandparents, running around, playing kickball. Anybody kickball? Why is there no professional kickball league, right? Like, I, there's no reason why that couldn't be a thing. Kickball was awesome when you were a kid. I don't know how well it would translate, you know, in, into to today's, you know, professional sports. But, hey, maybe you go over there, maybe you start it up. Maybe you become, like, the Pele of kickball. That's the thing, right? Pele is a guy from, from soccer, I think. Or conversely, hey, maybe just go out and get some friends together, play some kickball like you did when you were kids, and probably end up hurting yourself. Bye!